our guest speaker, Pastor Paul Rika, and his dear wife, Pastor Mrs. Linda Paul Rika, Christian leaders present, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I bless the name of the Almighty God for yet another opportunity to join the sons and daughters of God at the National Prayer Breakfast. We bless the name of the Lord for the 10th anniversary. And I know that the Almighty God, who has made it possible for us to be here, has also blessed us and will continually bless us in Jesus' mighty name. As I reflected on what uh, my remarks would contain, the scripture that kept coming to me was Isaiah 54 verse 17. Isaiah 54 verse 17, a very popular scripture and prayer. And I believe that the reason why that scripture kept coming to me is because God knows that someone here needs to be reassured that no weapon fashioned against you will prosper. And if you are that person, perhaps you need to shout a louder Amen. amen. As Reverend Paul Rica said, uh, as a son, thank you Jesus, all fear is gone. I think we should just thank the Lord Jesus because all fear is gone. That scripture that says no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn, goes on to say that this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. In other words, there is no weapon whatsoever, whether it be a physical weapon, sickness, a disease, dying before a certain age, whether the disease is inherited or not, whatever that physical weapon may be that may be fashioned against you. The Lord God Almighty says that it shall not prosper. And I pray for you that no physical weapon, no disease, no disease of any kind, no illness will work against you or will, 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 will ever prosper against you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. At the same time, no spiritual weapon, no spiritual weapon that is fashioned against you will prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Scripture says that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against the spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. So whatever the spiritual weapon may be, the Lord God Almighty says that it will not prosper against you in the mighty name of Jesus. For those for whom these spiritual weapons will never prosper, I think you need to say a proper amen. amen. As you stuff uh, the breakfast down, don't forget also to say an amen. amen. Praise the Lord. The word of God says in Romans 6.23, it says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. The truth of the matter is that we deserve any type of consequence that we get. We deserve the consequences. That is why the scripture says that truly the wages of sin is death, and all of us Scripture says all of us have sinned and we've fallen short of the glory of God. Every human being has sinned. But the word of God says in Galatians 3 verse 13 that Christ has redeemed some of us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. So the truth is that some have been delivered some have been delivered from every type of curse. And if you are one of those who have been delivered from that type of curse, then I think you should shout a mighty hallelujah. hallelujah. Why are we delivered? How did we become delivered? I think uh, Pastor Paul had said a lot of that today. How come we are delivered? 
How did we become delivered from the curse of the law? How is it possible for us to condemn those who speak against us? How is it possible to condemn every tongue which rises against us in judgment? The scripture says the reason is because this is our heritage as servants of the law. And it says that we did not get that righteousness by our own acts or by our own doing. The righteousness is the righteousness of God. The righteousness of God. And that righteousness of God comes because of the sacrifice that Jesus Christ made on the cross. And that sacrifice that Jesus Christ made on the cross for those who are born again, for those who are saved, for those who accept the Lord as, who accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, they become the servants of the Lord. The righteousness of God becomes their own. And when the righteousness of God becomes your own, then you can surely, as the scripture says, condemn every tongue that rises against you in judgment, and also no weapon that is formed or fashioned against you will prosper. Why? Because Jesus himself said in Matthew 5 verse 17, he said, do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy it, but to fulfill it. Every righteous requirement of the law, every righteous requirement of the law, the wages of sin has been paid by Jesus Christ. He has paid the wages of sin for those who have accepted him as Christ, as Lord and Savior, he has paid the wages of sin. That is why it is possible for us to say that we are righteous. That is why it is possible for us to say that we are not condemned and we cannot be condemned. It's possible for us to say that no weapon, no curse, no matter what type of curse it may be, will ever prosper against us. I'll just share with you one more scripture, and that's Colossians 2 verse 14 to 15. The scripture says that having wiped out the handwriting of requirements against us, which was contrary to us, and he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross, having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them. That is why it is possible for you and I to say that no weapon that is fashioned against us will prosper. Because God has already disgraced every principality and power. The day that he became saved, the day that he took away every handwriting of requirements, every requirement of the law against you, he has taken it away. So now we are free, now we are empowered because of the righteousness of God which has become our own. Because as the scripture says, he was wounded for our transgressions. So our transgressions have been taken away. He was bruised for our iniquities. So there are no more iniquities for those of us who are saved. The chastisement for our peace of mind was upon him. And by his stripes, we are completely healed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Those who are healed by his stripes, praise the Lord. It is because of his stripes that no physical weapon, no disease, no disease can be laid upon you. We are free of disease. We are free of curses. No curse, no disease, no physical weapon is capable of coming against us. Praise Jesus. So again, I congratulate you on this 10th anniversary, especially because I know that you will see the next prayer breakfast. Amen. You will see the next prayer breakfast. Amen. I will see the next prayer breakfast. Amen. And you will see it in good health. Amen. You will see it in prosperity. Amen. You will see it in peace. Amen. And you will, you will be steadfast and you will remain in the Lord. Amen. And you will see the 20th prayer breakfast as well. Amen. The 20th anniversary of the prayer breakfast. Amen. In good health and in peace. And for those who want to see the 50th, then you need to shout your really mighty hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you.